inspired holiday dishes this morning. Shane Keeler from Texas Roadhouse is here with a prime rib recipe for us. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm great. Better now that we have all this food on the table. Right. Okay, so tell us what's going on here. Well, first of all, you know, we're from Texas Roadhouse. Texas Roadhouse, we pride ourselves on legendary food, legendary service. Um, at Texas Roadhouse, we make everything from scratch. Um, you might not good. know this, a lot of restaurants don't, but at Texas Roadhouse, we do. We make uh, fresh baked bread, we bake it in the restaurant. We have some scratch side items here, some green beans that we actually make in the restaurant. Mm. Um, fall off the bone ribs. Um, but what we really do here at Texas Roadhouse is we actually are known for our steaks. All right. So we hand cut all the steaks in the restaurant daily. All the meat comes in fresh. We take about, um, the cooks have about eight hours. They're in the meat room. It's about 32 degrees. They hand cut all the steaks every single day. So um, right. one of our, you know, the holiday season's coming up. Um, one of the things that uh, you're trying to decide what menu you want to use for your mm -hmm. family or friends, something that's really simple to make is actually prime rib. Right here. This is right what we've here. got this morning. Okay. And so, you know, if you tell your family and friends, hey, I got the recipe for Texas Roadhouse and made some prime rib, they're going to be pretty impressed, right? Okay. The first thing you want to do is you want to take a prime rib loin, which is, you know, choice prime rib like we have in the restaurant, yeah. about, you know, anywhere from six to eight pounds, depending on how many guests you have. Okay. So if you have five to. So they're able to see it right here. Right. Okay. There you go. So if you have five to ten people, you know, figure about eight ounces a person. So, you know, you need probably. Five pounds, serve about 10 people. So. so, are we marinating this now? We do. What we do is we take a little bit of liquid smoke. Okay. We take a little bit of pepper, a little bit of garlic salt. Okay. A little bit of kosher salt to kind of give it that texture. Sure. And then we a little of uh, garlic. Mmm, garlic. And some soy sauce. So, we put it all in there. Okay, you know, mix it all up. Right, and you can use a dry rub or something that's your favorite if you don't want to use the Texas Roadhouse one. But, you know, my understanding is it's going to be on your website. So, uh, anybody that wants to make the Texas it Roadhouse is. one will be able to. Okay. And so, so you just mix that up a little bit, and then we're going to put it all over the prime rib. We're basically just going to coat it smells everywhere. Really smoky. You want to make sure to get it all over the entire prime rib, all over the top, the bottom. Are you going to flip this thing over? We are. There it goes. Just cover it a little bit there. Okay. And so. You want to put it in there. The most important step, actually, is that you let it marinate. And so you want to marinate it from... How long? Four hours. Four hours. We okay. recommend you do it overnight. Because okay. if you do it overnight, it's going to, it's going to um, really lock in all those juices and moisture. So. Okay. So then the next day, you know, you've got a lot of things going on on holidays. So you just pull it out of the refrigerator. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, set that oven to 425. You want to make sure it's hot. Make sure you preheat that oven. You put it into the oven at 425, about 15, 20 minutes. Okay. So 15, 20 minutes, you actually can sear it. What that does, it locks in all this garlic, soy sauce, sugar, everything that's in there. It locks it in and really kind of gives it that temperature. And so this is what it looks like, right? This that's is what it looks product? like when it's complete. So you pull it out, you cook it for about three hours. Uh, you drop the temperature from 425 after 15 minutes to three to 250. Okay. And then you cook it for about three to four hours. You want to temp it and make sure. Some people like their steak uh, medium rare, like it is right there, or some people like it medium, well done, etc. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe your mother in law likes it well it done. Longer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah. I mean, at Texas Roadhouse, we, you know, put a lot of care and concern into the food. Um, it's the holiday season. We put a lot of care and concern into our, our guests as well. Mm -hmm. um, at Texas Roadhouse, around the city, we've adopted about 30 families. And what we're just going to do is basically give them a Christmas dinner. Very so they, it's kind of a need, needs basis. They contact each managing partner at each store, and they kind of reach out to the community because we like to give back at Texas Roadhouse. Well, thank you so much for coming this morning. And we are going to post all this information plus a replay of this interview online at click2houston.com. It'll be posted under the video tab a little after the show.